What's up guys? Uh, opening a hobby box of 2016-17 series 2 hockey by Upper Deck and Nathan McKinnon on the cover. Not sure what is the idea of putting a Colorado player uh, on the cover of the box because uh, Colorado is uh, currently probably the worst team in the modern history of NHL. And uh, Austin Matthews young gun canvas uh, at the back of the box. Let's hope that it's also the card uh, which uh, will be inside this box. Uh, the first pack, uh, the pack design is completely the same as uh, the uh, box design and uh, some odds uh, stated at the back. And uh, Ryan Strom of uh, New York Islanders, uh, Frederick Anderson uh, who moved from Anaheim to Toronto and Simon Verlamov. And uh, that's actually an uh, OPG update of uh, A.G. Greer. I'm not sure if it's, it's actually his rookie card. And um, what's problematic this year is that OPG cards are actually numbered uh, uh, to six, uh, from 661 uh, and further. Like for instance, this card is numbered 674, uh, so it's overlaps uh, with the short prints in the regular OPG set because uh, so uh, that's uh, the short print award winners and uh, uh, all timers from the regular OPG set so there is also like card 674 yeah like uh, for instance this uh, 674 that's also OPG this year it's Mike Modano and then uh, uh, this uh, AG Greer is also has uh, the same number from the same set. So that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, previously, uh, Upper Deck uh, used to, to number update cards like uh, uh, for PHLA U1, U2, and so on and so forth. But this year, uh, uh, they made uh, this uh, continuous numbering, which is actually going to be a little bit confusing. Oh, and uh, that's not actually not a bad uh, card. Uh, a canvas young guns of uh, Nikita Zaitsev of uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, uh, the problem with this canvas card is that uh, the faces can be like clearly seen, uh, given the uh, the the precision of the printing is uh, not uh, very high. But uh, overall, it's probably uh, definitely has some value. Of course, it's not like uh, Medius young guns canvas, but still a uh, uh, decent. A uh, decent card, an Oscar Lindbergh, New York Rangers. Tuka Rusk. Yeah, and that's a great card of Joe Thorne with his uh, play, pro probably play of Beard. Uh, that's why uh, I like uh, a uh, portrait of uh, Meliut Kachet. Also actually not a bad rugby by uh, any measure. Yeah, because of this beard photos and I like, uh, that's the reason I like uh, uh, Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2 a lot. And like, uh, look on this John Carlson photo, uh, look on the, how the emotion can be seen from me. Uh, although like the base cards are not expensive by any measure, uh, they are definitely very fun to just uh, go through and uh, see what you are getting. And uh, young guns of Casey Nelson. Uh, never heard about him like a defenseman in Buffalo. Uh, actually, his stats are like good, like four assists in seven games. Uh, yeah, I'm amazed. He's not a big uh, name player, but uh, definitely not a scrub. Or maybe he's a scrub now, I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments if you know. Uh, Charlie Coyle and uh, Johnny Boychuk. Matt Nieto, Kevin Hayes, oh, and that's, uh, I think uh, this is uh, an update retro rocky of uh, Patrick Line, uh, a very hard Finnish goal scorer, Patrick Vitum Line, and uh, uh, he starts from uh, Tappara Tampere uh, for the two pass season, quite amazing, uh, 33 points and 46. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's, uh, I'm pretty, I think it's a retro, OPG, yeah, I think it's a red row because a uh, regular uh, rocket would be like this AG Greer, and this is uh, 
Yeah, that's the retro design. Yeah, nice card. Yeah, uh, I generally like uh, Series 2 maybe even slightly uh, better than uh, Series 1 because uh, exactly of these OPG inserts. I'm usually trying to complete uh, the OPG uh, set every year because it's the largest set and uh, canvas of uh, Eric Stahl. I'm uh, trying to complete this OPG set every year because uh, it is the largest set which represents uh, the most of the players in the league. Actually, uh, th uh, this year uh, Upper Deck introduced also a compendium set which is even larger than... Oh, that's actually interesting. It's Niall Yakupov already in the Blues uniform. He's uh, doing like really terribly in Blues, like something... Oh, six points in... Uh, like 40 games, but uh, still got his card. Actually, might be his uh, last season in uh, the NHL because uh, it's his contract year and he's doing terribly. But uh, so it's uh, nice to have uh, his card in uh, the Blues uniform as well. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, and uh, Young Guns of Shane Harper. I'm actually not a fan of this new Florida uniform. What a. Yeah, so. AHO stats are not very impressive, like uh, 37 points in 59 games, but uh, I'm not sure how he, he's doing in uh, NHL. Uh, Thomas Vanek and uh, Jonas Android. Yeah, I'm not generally trying to complete the OPG set, and so this updates, uh, at least the regular base updates, not retro, will go to my personal collection. And uh, Kyle Clutterbeck. Uh, Milan Lucic, uh, who is actually doing surprisingly well. I thought he will be done after uh, he went to LA uh, after playing in Los Angeles, but he's doing amazingly well in Edmonton. Uh, David Perron, it's also an update, and again, it's, uh, the number of these updates is uh, quite problematic. I'm not sure what is the idea of making an update of David Perron because I think he was playing in Calgary in. Uh, in blues already at the start of the season, like uh, last season. Uh, Victor Rask. Uh, David Bakes uh, actually just moved to Boston. Uh, yeah, and so uh, not doing. Uh, and uh, yes, a puller Yarvi. I think he was sent down to uh, the AHL. I'm actually not sure he is still in. He's still with Oilers. Uh, Patrick Sharp, uh, Nikita Zadorov. I thought he is like in Sabres, but apparently he is in Colorado already. Uh, Kate Yandel used to be a New York Ranger, uh, but uh, not anymore. And uh, yeah, Jamal Smith. Uh, it's actually interesting. This uh, is he, yeah. Uh, also was an AHL last season, like stats, like uh, he's not very big, only 5'10", so probably another scrap. Yeah, I'm not getting very good young guns, I should say, like except uh, except the Zeitz of Canvas young gun. Uh, so the cost of this box uh, is around $75. It's generally between $70 and $80, depending on uh, uh, where you buy it. Actually, oh, that's interesting. That's uh, a product exclusive of uh, King Henrik of New York uh, Rangers, number 16 out of uh, 100. Uh, generally speaking, this non-young gun exclusive is... Uh, are not very expensive, I think, but it's uh, still uh, nice to pull a card of a local uh, local player, like because I'm in New York. Uh, so, yeah. So uh, the price of the box is between seventy and eighty dollars, uh, and so uh, you get like six young guns. So uh, it's around twelve dollars uh, for young guns. Of course, there are no many, not many. Uh, young guns which are worth uh, more than $12. Uh, Stephen Jones, uh, actually, like, uh, I would be lucky if he, he's worth uh, even like $1. Actually, his stats are not like terrible for a defenseman. Like last season, like three points in 14 games. Although, like, uh, the, 
I think uh, Dallas is a little bit packed on defense uh, because uh, for instance, like the good defenseman like uh, Yurki Yokipaka, I think stuck in a challenge. John Merrill, Brian John Tan. Yeah, so uh, the back of the car is a standard upper deck series one and series two. A uh, back so there is some funny fact, not like not necessarily funny because upper deck doesn't have a sense of humor, but uh, uh, some information about the player and the season. Uh, statistics. Uh, you can also get a um, young gun slightly cheaper if you buy the. Oh, that's actually an interesting card. Uh, it's a uh, shiny um, OPG parallel. Uh, I think it's OPG Gloss or something like that of uh, Matthew Brazal. It's a local, also local New York Islander uh, player. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm actually not sure, uh, sure if he's on the roster now, but uh, apparently played in an NHL game, if you may. They said it. Uh, and. Uh, Corey Crawford. Yeah, you can get a uh, young guns cheaper if you buy hobby boxes or blasters, but uh, the problem with them is that, that uh, you don't have a chance on uh, numbered cards. And canvas of uh, Derek Brasarov, uh, Senators, Sen or Senators, uh, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And, uh, but the problem, uh, yeah, with hobby blasters and teens uh, are that uh, you don't get numbered cards. So. But uh, the chances of numbered cards are super low in any case. So. Not sure if it's uh, worth it. Antoine Vermette, uh, Mike, uh, Ron Haynes. Like one of the problems is that like uh, this shiny, like uh, named Dmitry Orlov, it's uh, shiny on this like violet background, so it's not like uh, super easy to to read it. And uh, uh, portraits of uh, Nick Schmaltz. Uh, never heard about him, and uh, I suspect that I will never hear about him like uh, in the future either. Uh, Mika Zibanejad, actually a former Ottawa Senator, now a New York Ranger, would be cool to. Uh, get a young gun of uh, cars uh, of a hot uh, rocky, but like I'm getting some like Della Star. Oh, that's actually like a uh, very rare. Uh, oh no, it's just a regular rocky material, so it's not like numbered or anything. Uh, yeah, and it's an uh, event used memorabilia. Somehow, like this box should be, have been so like in Dallas because I'm getting all these Dallas young guns and uh, uh, this jersey of Esalin. You can see that uh, the quality of the corner is uh, uh, the quality of the corner is not very good, and the quality of this lower edge is not uh, perfect as well. But like, uh, what you can ask from upper deck, Alex Yamelin and uh, Max Domi, uh, Thad Jones, who was just traded uh, from Nashville, uh, Zach Parisa to Joe Oshie. And uh, young guns of Brandon Tanev. I I think I've heard something about him, but I'm not sure if he's like a good player or not. Like uh, he's like in Winnipeg, but uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with uh, rookies in this um, uh, box, I should say. But overall, uh, a lot of variety. Like it's always uh, fun to open. Uh, series 1 and Series 2 because uh, first of the great uh, photography, like look on this face, you can see like uh, that he's looking at his teammate, he's giving a pass like it's and uh, then second because uh, a lot of variety, there are like OPG inserts, like there are canvas uh, guns, uh, can uh, canvas cards uh, it's a really unique photo, like uh, look how concentrated he's on the pack and uh, Kevin Shedden, Kira. I don't think he will stay in St. Louis. It will be interesting to see where he will be uh, in the next season. So, uh, 24 packs in the box and 8 cards per pack. So, we are slowly approaching the finish of the box. And uh, Thomas Chabot, is he from Ottawa? Yeah, he is from Ottawa. Rasmus Ristolainen. 
I still can't believe that uh, Edmonton chose Daryl Nurse over like Rasmus Rist and Line A in the draft. Classic draft by Edmonton. Andre Vasilevsky, Flying Steve Mason. And uh, uh, OBG of day of Tom Kunhak, actually also a, ro a rookie card, like one of the rare German players in the NHL, like Tom Kunhak, uh, always uh, nice to pull, uh, although he's not uh, any kind of a superstar, it's uh, interesting to pull uh, other players from the uh, smaller hockey countries, uh, of course not uh, as a country, Germany is not a Small, but uh, as a hockey, it's like a Lilliput country. Uh, Jacob Truba. I'm, uh, there were like huge apps, expectations about him, like in Winnipeg. Uh, I'm, uh, he's definitely not a scrub, but he, I'm not sure he, if he's a super superstar either. And another uh, rookie of, uh, that's a regular rookie, you not know, red of uh, Joel Eriksson. Uh, uh, you see that the bag of OPG card is much simpler. There are not uh, any facts about the players and legs. Like Jean Gabriel Pajul has uh, this Pajul recorded a career high seven short handed goals in 2015 16 to lead the NHL and match the sen sen senator single season mark by set by Daniel Alfredson. So, who somehow played uh, like 20 years in Ottawa but then uh, decided to go for. To play one season in Detroit. Yeah, overall, although I'm not pulling any kind of uh, hot cards, uh, it's an interesting gap um, product to open because uh, Tobias Lindbergh of Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, of course, I would prefer like uh, Mitch Marner, but uh, his stats are not bad. Not sure how is he doing now, but uh, it's definitely. Uh, not as bad as pulling like a Dallas Stars defenseman, so a little bit of relief, but uh, but still I'm I'm not disappointed at all because uh, it's still uh, an interesting opening experience. It's uh, a relatively large base set, and uh, you learn like uh, about a lot of players. You learn that, uh, for instance, I thought that Sven Birch is still in Calgary. And now I learned that he's like in Vancouver. Alex Radulov uh, also, like, uh, after a long break in his NHL career, last time I think he played, like, something like five years ago in Nashville, now back with Canadians also. Yeah, like, the la his last season was 11-12, uh, and then he played uh, yeah, for CS Grey Moscow of uh, the Continental Hockey League, Brandon Carlo of uh, Boston, and that's uh, uh, also, like, uh, a rookie. Actually, I'm pulling a lot of this uh, Rocky, uh, old picture Rockies, which is nice for me. And uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, yeah. Ah, please like this video if you still remember the times when uh, the Rocky Shield of the Ryan Nugent Hopkins uh, sold for $20,000 on eBay. I mean, like, ultimate Rocky Shield. And I think uh, that's an uh, OPG retro of uh, Mikkel Boetker. I actually thought that he's an, in Arizona. Yeah, he used to play in Arizona and this season he moved to San Jose probably. It's quite a bit of uh, change of scenario to move, uh, from, scenario to move uh, from a loser team to a cup contender. Yeah, so overall uh, probably my best card was this uh, Nikita Zaitz of Young Guns and uh, uh, probably in terms of money the box is not worth it but it uh, was a lot of, of fun uh, due to the, all this card variety in this product.